back for our purposes, Mr. Stubbe, seek recognition. Uh, move to strike the last word, Mr. Chair. Gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I would uh, yield to a member on the Democratic side that served in a combat area designated zone uh, and deployment of our country. Anybody in the Democratic side? Mr. Stubbe, what's the purpose of the question? My father, my father. I, no, 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 let me finish. No, let me no, finish. Because I, because I'm going to make a point and you're taking my time. So I will yield I to any member who Because deployed. I'm offended to say, at your suggestion that somehow if we've not served in a combat zone, that we don't care about protecting the lives of our constituents. Has nothing That's to do with why I'm to me. And for I have our family members who have lost Mr. blood, time. they should be respected. Reclaiming my time. So, Mr. You Chairman, I'd like 40 seconds I've seen my constituents die in battle. It's Mr. Stubbe's time. That's next level salt right there. I love it. Joining me now, that congressman from Florida, Stu Congressman Greg Stubbe. Congressman, one, bravo. That was hilarious. Two, what was that all about? What was that whole dust up over? Well, I was trying to prove a point because Democrats love to cascade to the American people that they're banning weapons of war and weapons of war are causing all this carnage in cities that they've, you know, defunded the police and that sort of thing. And it's just absolutely an outright lie to the American people. The, the weapon I was issued when I deployed in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom was an M4. It was fully automatic. It had a selector switch for three round bursts, semi-automatic and fully automatic. The, the Heller decision that the, the Democrats quote talk about uh, that the, the federal government can ban M16s. M16s were fully automatic. It is to compare them to semi-automatic rifles that millions of Americans possess today is an outright lie to deem them as a weapon of war. They uh, Fully automatic weapons are not allowed in this country. You can't purchase them without like all these crazy ATF backgrounds. They can't be produced, they can't be manufactured, but they wanna make it seem like it's these, these offensive, horrible weapons, yet they operate exactly the same as my nine mil handgun. They operate exactly the same. They are no different. They are not the weapons of war that we were issued when we got deployed. Congressman, offended. He said right away he was offended. When did offended become some kind of currency that, I mean, look, women aside, that men throw that word around now in this country as if that somehow is going to move me in any way. I'm offended. Like, I give a crap. Well, and it's just, it's, it's right to, I'm offended because it's got to be an emotional argument for Democrats because they, they throw yeah. facts and evidence and all of that right out the window. It's got to be completely an emotional argument. And you had family members of children that were killed in Uvalde, and obviously you have sympathy for them, but the, the issue before us today is banning a certain amount of firearms. So they want to bring it to, oh, I'm offended that you would bring that up in front of victim, families, victims of the Uvalde shooting. Well, we're not honoring the families of Uvalde all day today, we're talking about your attempts to ban some of the most common firearms across this country. And they always have to bring it back to an emotional argument because they can't win on the facts. They can't win on the evidence. So they've got to bring it back to that. They can't win on the facts. That's a fact. I didn't mean to do that on purpose, but that actually worked out well. So, okay, they can't win on the facts, and the facts are not on their side. We don't need to cite all the things we always cite about crime rates and where they happen and gun laws and whatnot. But that leads me to believe their motivation is something more nefarious. If they don't have a single fact to back up their claims, to back up what they want to do, I can't help but think, Congressman, these people just want to disarm me so they have the freedom to hurt me. Well, and this is just the first step, right? I mean, they just passed a gun control bill that had red flag laws in it. And then that, you know, this is the greatest thing to prevent mass casualties in America in X amount of years. And as soon as they pass that, now we're gonna ban assault weapons, so they called, there's not really such a thing. And so the next step is, there will be a crime that will be occurred by the grandfathered in of people that had an AR style weapon. And then what's gonna happen is, oh, well, we can't just ban the manufacture and possession of it going forward. We have to take everybody's guns away that have this type of firearm. And then that's not gonna work to curb gun violence because criminals obviously don't follow the law and they're gonna commit crimes. So then it's gonna be your semi-automatic handguns and then it's gonna be all guns. I mean, that is the path that the Democrats are on and they frankly talk about it. Um, they, don't, they don't care anymore. They're not trying to hide behind red flag laws and these other things. They just outright say they wanna take your guns. But why do they want to take the guns? If they know the things you know, they can read as dumb as some of these people are. They, they know the facts don't, don't, they don't lean, they don't lend any credence to their argument at all. Why do they want our guns? 
Well, the moment you take and disarm the American public or any country for that matter, just look at China or some of these other places that have just dis- Russia that have disarmed their civilians, you then suddenly lose the First Amendment. Because if you don't abide by the type of speech that they want you to abide by, you don't have a way to defend yourself and suddenly you start disappearing, people start disappearing. Look at Cuba, look at Russia, look at the genocide going on in China right now to not look very far that's happening right now in, in our world where the the country was disarmed and then the next thing that happens is the government controls your speech and that is the path that we are on in this country don't miss jesse kelly breaks history che guevara the latest episode of a new series available now exclusively for first tv supporters visit the first tv app or the first tv.com to subscribe and start watching today